Good afternoon YouTube and welcome back once again to Fat Cat Collections. Today I have another security camera for your home security or business needs. And today this is by Disease. <laughs> Sometimes these names. Uh, it's D-Z-E-E-Z. -E -E D-Z. We'll call it Disease, right? <laughs> Anyway, um, yeah, so that's the name of the camera. Um, I've reviewed their products before, and I've been pretty happy with the performance and the quality, and let's uh, let's see what you get. So, again, here's the box. I already have the camera out. I've been testing this now for uh, several weeks. Uh, so far, I'm pretty impressed. You have a pretty nice, uh, you know, not the smallest camera on the market, but not the largest as well. It's, um, you know, feels pretty solid. I mean, a lot of this is... Pretty subjective that's gonna be you know something you might feel differently about but it's got a plastic construction uh, we have your LED lights your infrared lights um, I'm sure the CMOS sensor in here do have a couple status lights as well and we have kind of like this half dome in the back and this is where your mounting plate goes this is a, a magnetic and you basically just mount the plate anywhere you want to mount this camera slap it on and you have your um, your your camera mount right um, couple things I noticed about this one thing I don't like and I wish they would have um, I hope they make the change in this if you were going to ceiling mount this you know I think they should have put maybe one of these kind of recessions in the top as well this way you can kind of mount this um, from a ceiling otherwise if you try to do this from a ceiling you can flip the camera rotate the image you can do that but you're still not really going to be able to um, mount this as such there might be an area where you're trying to you know get kind of a, 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 a a wider picture a further picture out like if you're mounting this on the outside of the house this angle is not going to be right right you're kind of looking down um, again it's better than flipping it the opposite way but it's pretty close so it would have been really nice if they maybe mounted or had one of these mounting plates on the top as well now they do give you let me open up the case and I'll show you what you get open up the box excuse me and I apologize I'm just getting over a cold so uh, bear with me here my throat's still pretty hoarse instruction manual you know, standard solar panel. This is like the most generic solar panel. I'm going to talk about this a little more in a second. Pretty basic, right? I mean, they, they all come with one of these if you're buying a solar camera. We do have um, a solar bracket right here. And we have a second one for the camera. So if you were going to mount this on a ceiling, right? Um, let me just see if you can. You could actually mount this camera like so using the attached bracket. It's almost like a tripod bracket. Let me screw this in here. And this should articulate enough. Yeah, so you can articulate this enough where, you know, you'll be able to look further out without such a, an angle pointing down. But, you know, that's nice they included that, but I just think it would be much better to have the ability to use the magnetic mount. And the reason for that is if you are going to mount this outside and you do have to get at this camera for whatever reason to, you know, power it off and power cycle it and reset it, I didn't see in the app anywhere where you can do that remotely. And that's something that um, companies need to put in all their cameras. When you, by the time you mount these, either even inside, right, you may have this hardwired, and maybe you don't use a solar panel. You may have this kind of nine feet up in the air, which is generally where you want to mount cameras. Um, nine feet is going to give you kind of a, a, a spot where it's out of reach for people being able to tamper with it, and then also give you kind of a nice broad view. Um, nine feet, you're going to have to crack out the ladder or the step stool in order to take this down. And it's kind of a pain to unscrew it, right? With this, you can just easily reach up, power cycle it, pop it back on. So. Um, I hope that DZs on your future models, you mount, you have some kind of mount just like this. I'm not sure if this is the mag or the magnets in here, but put one on top as well so you can kind of ceiling mount this and it really rotates this around. Um, you might even put something maybe like a channel of magnets where you can kind of rotate this all the way around to the back. That would be kind of cool. Um, other than that, it's just a small, right? Solar panel, again, same bracket for the solar panel. Um, I what, Another thing I don't like about cameras like this is that and again, these all work great, but they almost forced you to mount the solar panel somewhere further away from the camera, so you gotta hide the wires. Remember, wire management, even if you're even if you're not like overly neat and, and maybe you're a little sloppy, I think everybody wants to try to hide the wire. I think everybody makes their best effort to do so. And this is a lot to hide. If you are gonna mount this, let's say directly over the camera, you know, I have cameras that have it built in. It would be nice to have some kind of mount that allows you to mount this directly over the camera so then you can pop it up in kind of one one piece uh, but you know again these are these are the small gripes I mentioned these things because I think these are things that I, that I see um, all the time when companies send me cameras to review and it seems like a lot of them all kind of copy one another and do the same thing I'm giving you guys some really good input you know make this 
um, make this have the ability to, to core manage this, right? So maybe you could have some kind of panel or some kind of bracket that even if you don't mount it directly to the camera, maybe you have its own its own bracket, right? Something like this. Now let me just mount this here. I'll show you what I mean. You can screw this in, which is how you're going to mount this. That'd be, all right, there we go. So you're gonna basically screw this in, right? What are you gonna do with all this cord? If you are gonna mount this directly over the camera, you know, you, this kind of forces you to extend this way out and up high. You might just wanna mount this right on top of the camera and have it act like a little bit of a weather shield, right? You can do that. But now you have this, all this cord to contend with. So you can wrap it around here, but it's still gonna look really sloppy. So again, <laughs> advice to these camera companies is design your bracket with something that you can internally roll this cord up and just kind of set the length based on what you actually need. So it's going to look clean, it's going to mount where you have just a little bit of cord hanging out, and this you have a nice clean look. Um, you know, for me, I'm really into making sure that wires are, are hidden, whether it's in a home stereo, car stereo, mounting outside my house, nobody likes to see wires hanging. And this, you know, when I do mount this camera, I am going to have to put this solar panel somewhere remote to kind of use up all that length, right? So uh, what else do you get here? Some screws, you know, that's about it really. I think they do give you a USB, but I'm not sure it's in here. But that's, you know, that's about it really. It's pretty basic um, as far as what everybody else is offering. So price on this, 69 bucks. Um, there are no sales as of today, but you might keep checking back. I think the company did give me a coupon code, so I will put that in the description where you can at least save a little bit on this. Um, it is a 2.5K color camera, four megapixels. Again, you do have that solar uh, power or the solar panel to keep this charged. Um, another thing, I think companies kind of throw these in here. I don't know if you necessarily need a solar panel this large. Um, and I'm saying that because I have a camera with an attached solar panel that is like half this size. And that camera is in a spot where it doesn't get direct sun in rain, snow, sleet, year round, that camera's at 100% charge. So I think they're kind of going overkill with the, with the solar panel on this. Um, this would be a lot nicer with maybe something half the size. You may not necessarily need a solar panel this large, but again, don't quote me on that. These are all things for the company to kind of think about and consider. Does have AI pet detection, does have people, uh, uh, people detection, but I'll tell you, I've had this thing mounted in my kitchen for the last couple weeks, and when I get alert, it just says motion. Uh, maybe I don't have that turned on or something, like that. A um, couple things are a little bit glitchy. Sometimes when motion's detected, it'll turn on the LED light, even though I have the LED light uh, feature off. So you can have this act as like a, a sort of a siren as well. When it detects motion, the siren will go off. But I don't, you know, the I've, ne I've yet to have a camera that didn't get false alerts. Uh, sometimes you get an alert and it, there's nothing there, right? It could just be like the change in, um, you know, maybe a cloud goes by or something like that. They're not... I wouldn't want this thing going off with a siren on the outside of my house because there's just too many false alerts. The detection hasn't gotten good enough with any camera I've ever reviewed where you can really have it uh, be dependable to when you get an alert that it's not going to be false, right? But, I mean, that's kind of kind of just how it is. I mean, none of these things are um, generally when like companies have amazing security systems, generally they're live, they're being recorded, but they don't depend upon any kind of AI detection of human beings actually watching, right? So again, we're limited for $69. Um, that's just, it is what it is. But overall, I mean, it's a nice camera. One thing I like about it too is if you want to access um, your SD card, a lot of times they'll put that underneath a little weatherproof cap here, right? With this, you depress two buttons on the side and you open up the back. And here you have the spot for your micro SD card, and I think that's about it. You could probably access the battery if you had to, but I like the fact that it's kind of hidden in there. Um, not that it really matters, because ultimately if somebody reaches up and takes this, you know, they're, they're going to be able to figure that out, so not a big deal. Um, some of the other features on this, it does have IP66 weather resistance. Um, some of this is, I'm just going to read you what they state on here. It just says here, crystal clear monitoring day or night. It has an upgraded 2560 by 440 um, 2.5K resolution, 130 degree wide angle lens. I don't think the lens is any wider than any other camera I have. It's pretty standard in the industry. Uh, PRI sensor can distinguish between people, pets, vehicles with AI algorithms. Again, I haven't tested this outside yet, but inside the alerts I get, and let me just check those just downstairs. Let me see what it what it actually triggered, because I just carried this from, upstairs, from downstairs to upstairs for the review. And let's see what this sucker says here. Um, 
Yeah, so it just says motion was detected. So I've yet to get the AI alerts, but maybe I just maybe I don't have something set right. I'm pretty sure I have that on. So just kind of take that with a grain of salt. Uh, but overall, I mean, there's a lot of different um, there's a lot of different brands on the market, and the good thing about everything that's out there for the most part, they're all pretty similar. And this is just another good example of you being able to get some secure some some um, security cameras in your home or business for a fraction of what it's going to cost if you go with like one of the big box brick and mortar brands. We're not going to mention those, but um, you know, go into those brick and mortar big stores. You got to see mainly the main brands. There's nothing wrong with those, but a lot of times you pay several hundred dollars for those. Whereas these, you, you know, I mean. You can get three of them for like under two hundred bucks. So that's that's well not under two hundred dollars, but you know two forty ish, uh, depending on the sale. Use my coupon code if it is available. If it does work, but um, that's about it. They do have thirty day return policy. Um, it says here um, you can have up to twenty cameras on their uh, DZ's thirty day cloud recording. So you know I don't do that. I don't. I think a lot of folks. Um, it'd be nice if a company just included that with their cameras, but I understand why they don't. Um, it is something they want you to sign up for, but. Um, and it says the app will allow you to monitor up to six of these at once. So kind of cool, but again, something I always state, if you are going to choose a brand, no matter what you choose, whatever brand, try to try to choose brands that will keep everything under one app. It's nice to be able to view six cameras and not have to, like for me, I open up several different apps to view different cameras. So it would be nice to get something all under one roof, right? Um, and buy them while they're available, right? Um, another thing I want to mention on here, it says here that... Um, what did I just see there? It says it now. This is kind of. It says it has two built-in 4 dBi antennas for reliable signal strength. Now I haven't put that to the test, but a lot of brands don't mention that specifically. That might be something specific to this camera that they did to accrue to increase the Wi-Fi range. Again, a lot of that's going to have to do with your router, with your network. But just something to consider. Um, it, it might work better for you. As far as the Wi-Fi network, I believe this only connects to the 2.4 gig. Spectrum, um, not a lot of them connect to the 5G, so just kind of keep that in mind as well. Um, and that's about it, folks. Let me know if I can help you in any way. I'm always here to help. Drop me a comment or drop me an email. Do subscribe to the channel. And uh, again, um, you know, it just it, it's a great product. I, I like the company, and but I know I repeat that a lot. The good thing about the point I want to make is that no matter what brand you go with, most of these things are pretty good out there, and you're, you're going to get a reliable product that, um, that works the way it should. So thanks for watching. Have a great day, and take care.